Hey everyone, thank you for checking back into my channel. This is Tanya Petty, your Central Kentucky Realtor. If you're looking to buy a home in Central Kentucky, I'm happy to help. Hey there, thank you and welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys continuing visiting me for information about buying or selling a home in Central Kentucky. Today, we are talking about buyers versus sellers market. What's the difference? If you are a new home buyer, you may not know what the difference is between a buyer and seller's market. Basically, it all has to do with inventory. If we have too many homes, it becomes a buyer's market. If we have not enough homes, it becomes a seller market. The way that works is when there are a lot of homes on the market and not a lot of buyers looking for homes, the prices of the homes tend to trend downward in order to attract buyers to the home themselves. If we have a lot of homes on the market, the prices of homes tend to trend upward because buyers are competing to get a home. Every location is a little bit different when it comes to the market itself because uh, the homes may be more or less desirable in one location or another due to many factors, um, how many jobs are available and what schools people want to put their parent, their children in, um, if they like the weather in that area. And in Kentucky, the counties are very small. So one county could be very different from another, even if they're very close in proximity. And we call that micro location. So you may have a realtor in your area telling you that it's a buyer's market and a half an hour down the road, it's a seller's market. When you're talking about putting in an offer on a home in a seller's market and you're the buyer, what you need to understand is that there are probably multiple people putting in offers on this home and yours needs to be the best if you want it to win. Now, the best doesn't always mean top dollar. Um, it could mean has the um, best options. So when you are putting in an offer, there's many things that you're going to consider. How much are you going to offer for the home is of course very important. How much are you going to put down as a deposit on the home is also important. Are you going to finance the home and what type of financing do you have? Um, are you doing inspections? Are you doing extra inspections other than what's um, considered normal? Are you having an appraisal? How soon do you want to close on the home? These are all very important factors when you are making an offer. So it's a good idea to have your realtor call the seller's agent and ask what would make your offer more appealing to the seller. Sometimes the seller's agent is open and willing to give you um, some tips and sometimes they're not and that's fine either way. But make sure that you at least try to make your offer appeal to the seller when you are in a seller's market. Now, if you're in a buyer's market and you're looking at homes, you're more likely to get a deal. Um, a lot of buyers are looking for a home that they can grab at a good price under the market value and that does happen in a buyer's market but not very often in a seller's market. It's, it's rare. When you're making an offer on a home or when you're accepting an offer on a home, make sure you chat with your realtor. That way you can have a for informed decision. It's hard to sometimes navigate through the complicated world of real estate when you're just looking to purchase your next dream home or just looking to sell so that you can relocate. Having an expert to advise you on the trends of the market and how it works the difference between a good and better offer on your home or a good and better offer on someone else's home. Those are all things that come at great value to you when you're in the buyer or seller's market. Now, I know many people can uh, attempt to predict the future, but the market is not something we can actually predict. It changes from day to day, just like the rates do on your loan. There are things that we can see as trends that might help us to steer our opinions towards one direction or the other, but that doesn't always mean that it's going to turn out that way. Um, and as we discussed earlier, micro markets are a big deal. So we can predict a seller's market coming up this year. And I've heard many predictions saying that, and there may be plenty of places that have a seller's market and there will be plenty of places that don't. So it's a good idea to know the market 
in the area that you're looking? Um, and that is a great question to chat with your realtor about, have them do some research for you so that they can give you the updated information about the place that you're looking to purchase a home. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you guys have any questions about buying or selling a home, or you would like to understand your local market better, reach out to me. I'm happy to help you or set you up with a realtor in your location that can give you more information.